Hi friends, welcome back to another lesson with me, Alex, on your virtual field trip for Earth Week 2020. We've learned a lot about water so far, but let's shift our focus to one of my favorite subjects, chemistry. In chemistry, pH is a scale used to specify how acidic or basic a water-based solution is. pH is measured on a scale from 0 to 14. 7 is neutral, or what you would consider drinking water. Anything above 7 is a high pH, and anything below 7 is a low pH. All the soaps in the car wash are on the pH scale. Everything is either high on the pH scale or low on the pH scale, unless it is a neutral. Our soaps that are high on the pH scale are what clean a car. These soaps are used to clean the road grime, dirt, bugs, and bird poop. Our soaps that are low on the pH scale are what make cars shiny and easy to drive. We also neutralize all the pH of our cleaning agents we use so that your car leaves clean, dry, and with a long-lasting shine that you and Mother Nature are happy with. You ever wonder what this is? I know I did for a long time. What the heck are we spraying on your windshield and front bumper? Well, this is actually a high pH. What a high pH does is it helps break down the road grime, the bugs from that road trip, and the bird poop. It helps loosen that stuff off the paint so that it's easier to clean. Come take a walk with me. I'm going to show you a few more things. So this right here is our duck bat that comes on our Lucky Duck Wash. It's a massive amount of high pH, and what that does is it continues that process to loosen all that nastiness that's on your car, and it helps lift it up so that it's easier to clean and so that we can make the car shinier. Keep on coming with me. After that high pH goes on, we have our triple foam here, and the triple foam actually is a low pH, and it does two things. One, it neutralizes it back to a neutral, so it goes back to a seven on the scale, but it also makes the car super shiny and it makes it way easier to drive. Keep on walking, I've got a few more. This application right here is our Lava Shine. That helps shine the entire surface of the car so it's got that beautiful luster that everyone loves. Right here is our high volume rinse and our wheel blasters. That helps rinse all that foam off the vehicle and the wheel blasters help to get all that nasty brake dust off of there. This right here is one of my favorites. This is our Lava Seal. This takes all the previous shining applications and it locks it into the clear coat of the vehicle. It creates this beautiful shine and if your paint is metallic, it creates this depth that almost makes it look wet all the time. Pretty cool, huh? Right here you have our rain repellent. That seals all those windows so that they look beautiful, obviously, and so you can also see out of your vehicle while driving in the rain. Then we have our fresh water rinse, our clear coat, our drying agent, and our spot free rinse because, let's be honest, who wants to leave a car wash with a spotty car? We won't let that happen to you. And then after that, we have got, well, as you can see, drier and drier and drier and drier, dryers for days, and tire shine. So, to cap this all together, we start off with that high pH. That breaks all the nasty bugs and bird droppings and all that road grime off the vehicle. Once we get that off, we're able to bring the low pH on so that we can not only neutralize everything, but so that we can also shine the vehicle and dry it properly. Then we slam on all of our shining agents and our drying agents so that we can dry your vehicle off. And everything's beautiful and neutral at the end so that you can get a beautiful, clean, shiny car and keep Mother Nature happy. Our soaps are biodegradable. It means they can easily be decomposed by nature. Things like banana peels take about a month to be decomposed, while things like plastic bags take over a thousand years. That's a long time! That's why we don't want to use harmful soaps that will contaminate the water. Want to understand pH at home? Try this experiment. What do you think happens when you put an egg in vinegar? All you need to find out is an uncooked egg, a jar, and white distilled vinegar. Just fill the jar with one cup of white vinegar and then place your egg in the jar. Watch your egg for about a week or so and see what happens. This is a perfect example of what happens when acids and bases 
react together. I think you'll be shocked by the results.